High again, smooth vibrations, I rasped, trying not to cough. I've got a pickup for Xi. Running errands with a cold was never fun, but at least this one was quick. And I was even sure that I'd met this vendor before. Water wheels really do all look the same to human eyes, since the size and color of their column of jello bodies was liable to change depending on health. But this one was wearing a name tag. I say wearing, but really she had it floating near the front. I was glad for that. There was no chance I'd pick up the frequencies they identify each other by otherwise. Welcome back, said Smooth Vibrations brightly. Someday I'd figure out how they produced sounds, but it had never felt polite to ask. We haven't seen your ship in a while. Is Z ill? I shook my congested head. He's fine. I'm sick. He's just busy and asked me to grab his order on my way to go rest. I sniffed, but only one nostril was working. Sounds like a big favor, the water will said as she extended an arm tendril to open a drawer. Eh, hey, not too bad, I told her. It's a minor sickness. I probably caught it from somebody on the last station a few days ago. I don't think anyone on my ship can even get human diseases. That's convenient, Smooth Vibration said. If... My explosive sneeze interrupted her. Mm. I turned away and aimed into the crook of my arm, but it was a loud one. Also unpleasantly messy. I'd have to wash this shirt. Excuse me, I said, wiping my nose on the sleeve. Ugh. When I looked back at her, I found the water wheel frozen in place, her surface covered in alarmed-looking spikes. Even the vague shapes floating about her interior had stilled. Before I could ask if she was okay, she exclaimed, What was that? A sneeze, I said. Have you not seen that before? That's normal, she demanded. The spikes began flattening out. For sick humans, yes, I said, digging in a pocket for a tissue. Probably other species, too. Something was irritating my breathing passages, and that's a way to get it out. Automatically. I don't have much control over it. I glanced at my befouled sleeve. More's the pity. She started to say something else as I blew my nose, then she stopped. The spikes didn't reappear, but I got the impression that she was shocked in a different way. I couldn't blame her. Those snotty noises were gross even to me. One tissue was barely enough. What did you say? she asked when I was done. I rewound my memory. More's the pity. I asked. After that, she said, sounding scandalized, I didn't say anything. I just blew my nose. Are you sure? She pressed. Because that sounded an awful lot like... She produced a snotty sound of her own, which really did sound similar. Wow, is that your language? I swear I didn't do it on purpose. This was fascinating. What did I say? Smooth vibrations paused before saying, May all your organs clump together. No, I definitely didn't mean to say that, I assured her, laughing a bit. I'm so sorry. Apology accepted, she said primly, going back to the drawer. Let's get you that order, so you can go back to your ship and rest. Yes, please, I said, looking down at the tissue and wondering what to do with it. Asking to throw it in her trash can just didn't seem polite. I ended up crumpling it and shoving it in a pocket. I'd wash all my clothes later anyway. Blur. I hate being sick. Here it is, Smooth Vibrations announced, placing a flat case on the counter. Do you want a bag? Sure, I said, trying to make out the brightly colored text. Your bags are really neat. Smooth vibrations sounded proud as she said, That's water wheel efficiency for you. She moved the case into a clear bag that was made out of a thin layer of their patented solid water technology. It didn't get anything wet, and it would evaporate in a day. So clever. 
I hope you get your rest, and Z enjoys his music. The Loud Ones are a fine band. I don't think I've heard their stuff, but the name sounds familiar, I said as I picked up the bag. It felt smooth and cool against my fingers. Their biggest song is What the Hell is a Shoewog, she told me. Oh, I remember that one. I flash back to my first day with this crew and Paint's lively rendition of the song about Mesmer body parts. Z had been particularly grumpy about it, insisting that the song was a dishonor to his glorious blade arms. But now he was buying the album. I laughed, then had to cough. This is why he wanted me to pick it up for him, instead of waiting for Paint to do her supply run, I exclaimed. She'd never let him live it down that he actually likes that song. Smooth vibrations burbled in amusement. Sounds like you've got some blackmail material if he ever sends you out while you're sick again. She waved me away with three arm tendrils. Go rest. I will, I told her. Thanks. With another sniffle that was hopefully not a different rude word, I hurried back to my ship and a much-needed nap.